So let's say that you wanted to push the system a bit further. What else can you do to make your image look filmic? What other nodes can you add? Hi, I am Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. Before we start, it's very important to note that this video is designed for absolute beginners. So if you feel like you're an expert, you might want to skip this one. It's, um, it's going to be boring for you. So the problem that a lot of beginners face is that they understand nodes. You learn to use nodes and you understand how the image flows between nodes and you have a basic understanding of the whole system. However, the question is, what would you do with nodes? Like what kind of nodes should you add in what sequence? What goes before what? What's the purpose of each node? So all of these questions uh, make it a bit harder for beginners who just learned Resolve to use nodes. So in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at uh, nodes with maybe like three different levels of complexity for uh, absolute beginners who just learned to use nodes. We're going to see what kind of nodes to add, in what sequence, and for what purposes. Let's start. Now, if you open the color tab and go to nodes, you'll notice this section here, which has different types of nodes. So serial, parallel, layer, splitter, combiner, many types of nodes. In this video, we're only going to be focusing on the serial node. The first node tree you should ever build consists of two nodes only. The first node is dedicated to color correcting the image, then in the second node is for color grading, or in other words, styling the image. So here I have the first node already added. I'll right click on it, click node label, and call it correction. I'll add one more node by going to color nodes, add the serial node, right click node label, and call this one grading. So let's take a look at this image now. For example, for the first node, let's say that you're an absolute beginner and you do not want to get hands-on yet with color correction. As discussed before, you can simply click this button here and Resolve will analyze the image and try to guess the correct colors for it. So congratulations, you just corrected your image in the first node that you decided to use only for color correction. Now let's move to the second node, the grading node. Again, as a beginner, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of stuff. In order to uh, make the image look slightly more filmic without doing a lot of work, you can simply go to the curves panel, click on the blue curve, pull the top controller down and pull this area near the bottom to the top slightly. So let's bring this down a bit. Notice how the image started looking different and let's increase this one a bit. Now, this is not the best look in the world and it's not even a great look, frankly, but if you're an absolute beginner and you're just starting, this will get you excited about working with Resolve. Seeing results fast and easy uh, will um, push you to move forward and learn. And this is the simplest node structure in the world. A node for color correction and a node for color grading with two simple controls and take a look at the image before and after. Before, after. Let's make the system slightly more complex. Let's say that you wanted to add a little bit of complexity to this system. Well, it's pretty simple. There's the three node system. So again, the first node is for color correction. The last node is still for color grading, but there's a new node in the middle that is designed to control gamma. Speaking of Resolve, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning how to use Resolve, you'll love our free crash course that will teach you the basics of every tab in Resolve. Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. So I'll take this node to the right, select the first one, go to color, nodes, add the serial node. And now in the new node, again in curves, I'm going to click this button to make sure that I control all the curves at the same time. And I'm simply going to drag the middle of the curve down. So I'll add a point here and drag it down ever so slightly. So why did we do that? The biggest problem with Rec 709 and, and automatic color correction like the auto color and resolve is that they tend to be linear, let's say. So um, they tend to push the gamma slightly brighter than uh, films. So in film, gamma is usually just pushed down a bit. And in linear uh, uh, footage, like for example, for Rec 709, Rec 709 is not linear, but just think of it as linear for now. It's, it's the easiest way to interpret this. Let's just say that gamma is elevated, so I'm just calling it linear for now. It's not linear, just keep that in mind. But let's just call it, let's just say that it has elevated gamma levels. 
So again, take a look at the image before and after, before and after. And actually I'm going to disable this new node that was added. So before, after, before, after. So this is the second level of complexity. So one node color correction, gamma correction, and in the last node, you stylize the image. Let's say that you wanted to push the system a bit further. What else can you do to make your image look filmic? What other nodes can you add? Well, you can add one more node after the correction, uh, the grading node, so the, the last node, where you recover information in highlights and shadows. So I'll select the last node, go to color, nodes, add the serial node, and now we have a fourth node here. And in this fourth node, we're going to try to recover the highlight areas here that got slightly brighter than what we want, you know, for especially for a film look. In order to do that, in this node, we're going to be using the shadows and highlights controllers in the primary color wheels. So keep an eye on this area here while I control the highlights in the last node. Notice how I managed to recover highlights in the last node, and this is the image before recovering highlights and after, before, after. And I do not think that we need to recover any shadows in this image. I think the shadows level is correct. So this was the last level of complexity for beginners. So here you have four different, very simple node structures uh, that you can start working with tomorrow without needing a lot of experience. Um, this will get you more comfortable working with nodes uh, in the future. I, I believe whenever you start learning something new, the faster you get to a point where you can produce some results that you like, um, the, fa the, the more you'll become uh, excited about the topic you're learning and will make the learning process much easier. So uh, I hope you like this. If you like it, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.